what is your initial actions? Well, first, just start screaming really loudly and start praying. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel, Captain SQ, where we're going to discuss on airbus systems, emergency procedures, and supplementary techniques on how to fly the plane. Alright, A320 emergency descent, when to do it, and steps to take. Before we start, do smash the like button and subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. So let's have a look at some of the examples where we require to perform an emergency descent. This is not limited to the aircraft type, but all pilots do practice this procedure regardless of what jet aircraft they fly. Let's look at some of the types of pressurization malfunction that you can have. The first will be a system malfunction which enables the crew to restore the system. The rise in cabin altitude is slow. Therefore, it allows the crew enough time to control the malfunction. The second type of system malfunction you can have is the system itself cannot be restored and the crew descend at an appropriate rate to 10,000 feet or MEA, which is the minimum on route altitude. And to refresh your memory, MEA is the lowest altitude to be flown in an airspace structure which assures reception of navigation aids necessary to navigate accurately along the required route, two-way communication with air traffic control, safe clearance from obstacles within the sector, and conformity with any air traffic control procedures applicable within the sector. The third type of malfunction we can have is a sudden, uncontrollable and excessive cabin altitude which requires an emergency descent to 10,000 feet or MEA. So let's have a look what are the indications that you will have. As shown on the picture, the cabin altitude will rise and it starts to pulse in green at 8,800 feet and turn red at 9,550 feet. There will also be a master warning and the differential, cabin differential pressure will decrease rapidly or be at zero. So, what is the memory items? What is your initial actions? Well, first, just start screaming really loudly and start praying. <laughs> Jokes aside, any pilot that notices an excessive cabin altitude rise announces emergency descent. Both crew don oxygen masks and once you don your oxygen mask, remember to wear again your headset. And thereafter, you will establish communications with each other. The pilot flying will immediately initiate the descent. And the recommendation is to use the autopilot and auto trust unless you want to make it hard. Or well, that's what she said. Select the FCU going from right to left. Altitude, turn and pull. Heading, turn and pull. Speed, pull. Announce the FMA. In this case, it would be Trust Idle, Open Descent, Heading. Speed brake set to full. If autopilot is on, only half speed brakes will be extended. What are the pilot monitoring memory items? Number one, it will be signs to on and check the FMA to see what the aircraft is doing. Let's move on to the second step. The pilot monitoring performs the ECAM actions or refer to the QRH 
if there's no ECAM. So right now, the aircraft is descending. The pilot flying will refine the settings, the altitude. You can double check by looking at the ND, the heading. Make sure you consider terrain and also oxygen escape routes. As for the speed you choose, it will depend on whether there is damage to your aircraft. If there is a structural damage, then it's probably a good idea to maintain current speed. If there's no damage, then well, accelerate. Speedy Gonzales. If cabin altitude goes above 14,000 feet, the crew must press mass man on. Okay, let's have a look at the rate of descent. A rate of descent with high speed and speed brakes extended is approximately 5,000 to 7,000 feet per minute. From flight level 390 to flight level 100, it takes about 4 minutes and 40 nautical miles. What are the additional considerations? The gear can be lowered at 25,000 feet, but then you would have to slow down to 250 knots, then accelerate back to 280 knots. Using speed brakes might stress the airframe if there is structural damage, so keep that in mind. Notify ATC. Let them know what you are doing. Squawk 7700 and notify the cabin crew. And well, you ask, what if we are flying cargo? Well, let's not be pedantic, shall we? If you are flying cargo, then skip this. You're not going to notify the animals at the back or whatever Amazon package you are carrying. When you are reaching your descent height, you will see Alt Star on your FMA. Retract the speed brakes. Check your autopilot, auto thrust. It's on and reduce your speed. Take off your Star Trek light oxygen mask and reset the control slide to deactivate the mask microphone and then tell your lovely cabin crews the descent is complete. So that's it for A320 emergency descent. I hope you learned something today and do smash the like button and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.